What's up guys? We're on the way home from South Dakota, back to Nebraska. We're kind of taking the long way. It's a real hazy day. We're uh, going to stop by a ghost town. It's called Kappa, South Dakota. We're on the way there now. I thought that was neat. Just a silhouette out on the hillside. Alright, well, yeah, we're about 15 minutes from this ghost town. Hopefully there'll be a lot of footage. A lot of stuff we can see. All right, let's head out. Well, we're coming into the town of Kappa. This town used to have 300 residents. Uh, they had a hotel, a bathhouse, lumber yards, banks, newspapers. They had two ch uh, two churches and several general merchandise stores. It's like they've got. Well, there's the old church right there, part of what's left of it. Uh, most of the homes were uh, moved from here. They said they were relocated to other, other areas. Yep. It's a very old house there. The last resident that lived in this town, his name was Phil. His grandparents were some of the first ones that ever lived here. And uh, he lived right there in that house. We're going to go around and check that out. It's hard to believe all that was here. Uh, they had an artesian well that uh, fed a public bathhouse where most people uh, got their water supply. Kappa got its name because the word capacity was written on a cargo container. When the doors were open, the separated letter spelled Kappa City. People would see this while going through town and the name just stuck. Post office was here in 1907 and uh, they said the final blow to the town was in 76 when the post office left. Great Depression also really hurt uh, this town, from what I was reading. I'm going to go back and uh, film that church in a minute, but I saw what looks to be the old school building. And uh, out uh, there is two outhouses. Wow, this is this is amazing. All this will be gone in a few years. I want to record it all while I can. I wish I had a lot longer, but uh, we're in the middle of a 10-hour road trip. My goodness. You can tell a lot of animals have been in here. Look at these old doors. Whew. If I'm a little shaky, guys, it's you have to forgive me. I'm cold. The breeze is coming through here. Yeah, this was definitely the old school, I would say. And uh, there's another old washing machine. Wow, and that would be where the blackboard was. And the, they would have kept the chalk down, that rail still there along the bottom. Man, it's a shame somebody couldn't have saved this place. I couldn't imagine growing up here and uh, then seeing everybody leave uh, just one at a time and the, the place just go down like this. Let's cut through to this side. You 
got the entry room and then you got these two big rooms here. There's an old stove. Sports Illustrated magazine. Let's check the year out on it. I can't get the cover. I can't get it open and I really can't I can't make it out. I'll have to look that up. All I have to do is look it up online. I'm sure I can find it. Let's see what we got over here. Golden Christmas favorites. This is an old, an old uh, record here. Perry Como. Well, here's a chest. Let's see if something's in this one. Cause, well, there is something in this one. Very rarely ever see anything in them. Well, this was in here. I've seen these on some old movies. Is that a? I don't even know what to call it. I'm not, I'm not going to embarrass myself and call it something wrong. <laughs> oh man. Now this is neat. Omaha World Herald. July 12th, 1939. This stuff's been in this chest a long time. Alright, well, gives you an idea what's in here some old boots I'm gonna have to go go check the next one out I'm gonna run out of time here There's where a blackboard would have been in this one as well 1939 newspaper man that's, that's unbelievable Here's an old uh, advertisement that? that I found. Yeah, that's a corset. I couldn't think of the name of what that was a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen one in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't seen one like that either. You, know, you watch movies and stuff. You yep. Found an old radio over here. That's pretty cool. If you know the approximate year on that, y'all let me know. National Enquirer wants you to know. I remember the old advertisements. This is a 1977. Nothing back here. All right, Jamie, I think we better head on out. Well, that school is some bad conditions it in. I can't imagine it lasting too much longer. This building is sitting outside of the fenced area. Not sure what this was. It's got an old jelly jar light up there. It's very small, very small building. Doors laying sideways, probably to keep animals out. It's just one room. You know, it was, it was wired. You got a little shelf over there. Yep, there's another. Little shelf on the wall.
Yeah, not much to see in that building. We've got a few more to check out. Let's hop back in the van. I see smoke over there. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what that's from. You want to go check that house out over there? We didn't know it at the time, but this was the old hotel. The smoke we were seeing was actually steam from a hot water spring. The water comes out of the ground at 152 degrees. The hotel had a cement bath and people would come from miles away to bathe in the mineral water. Here's another house right here. All right. So I think they said the town was founded in 1907. So it's very, uh, very likely most of these, I think most of the houses they said were built between then and 1916. Oh wow. Check this out. Books laying in here. Oh my goodness. Yep, there's an old refrigerator there. Cold spot, it says. American pageant. Oh man, I hate these are going to sit here and ruin political consolidation of half a continent. Yep, this is collapsing here. All right, there's another, there's a, another appliance. There's a stove. Two refrigerators. Yeah, this is pretty bad here. It's not going to be standing very much longer. It's an old ringer washer in this room. Old heater there. It's a bed frame. Well, Got a few more to check out. We're gonna go ahead and do that. This was Phil's home. He was the last resident of this town. And everybody said that uh, he loved to tell stories. Anybody that would stop by, um, from what I was reading, he was put in a care home about a year or so ago. So this is officially, he was the last resident. Here's an old Bel Air. Yeah, South Dakota 2022 was the last time this was tagged. Grass is really, really tall on this. Uh, they left the window cracked on it. Here's the inside. It's a good straight car, looks like. I'm not sure the year on it. I'll have to uh, do a little more research on it. All right. Yeah, this snow is pretty deep in places. I just remembered because one of my commenters said check the tail lights for the year. So there it is, 1969. Thanks for the tips guys. Always helps. There's the tractor. Probably hadn't been operated in some time. Not really sure what these are up here for, but I noticed all these things hanging. I don't even know. I don't know what they are or 
what the purpose is. They're hanging from the edge of the roof. It's kind of different. This says United States Post Office. So I wonder. Yep, there was a place to slide an envelope right there. Pretty, pretty bad condition. Just taking my time. I don't want any animals to sneak up on me. There's a couple of heaters. I'm wondering if there was any evidence of the old post office in here. Tell this place has been rummaged through extensively. It's an old exercise bike. I'm actually on my way home to Nebraska so I don't have an extremely long time. 1983 Cars and Parts magazine. Now that's neat. Yep, there's a couple of uh, appliances back here. Didn't bring my light. It's a neat old cabinet right there. Old stove. Wow, there's just junk everywhere. Looks like he had an outhouse out here, a porta potty for an outhouse. old bottle there. Oh wow. This old, I had to go check this old building out here. There's another Cards and Parts magazine. And look at that old stove. Not sure how old that is. Floors feel pretty bad in here. I'm not going to go too much further. I'm going to go around and look in the other window. Yeah, they had 1986 magazine there. Yeah, this looks like just a place for chickens. Alright. Some old stuff here. It's definitely worth the drive to check it out. There's an old church. Looked like it burned down. This was the old church. And uh said it looked like a fire because of the black marks on the front wall but there'd be a lot more than that if this was if this had been a fire I believe walk around here I just have to watch my step you can see that old window right there where it uh, old window it would have probably had some beautiful stained glass in it at one time. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. There's some of the old cedar shake shingles left on the roof. I'm out here kind of doing this one by myself today. It's a little cold for everybody else. And uh, just seeing what I can see in here. Not much. There's some old decorative tin work there. Hold the camera around the corner 
I can't get in there. John Deere filter element for a tractor. Yeah, and there's the back. I think it's something how that wall broke off right at that window. I wonder if we can find any pictures online. That'd be pretty cool. This old truck sitting out in the field. I wanted to walk out here and take a look at it. Not really sure what model it is yet. It's a Ford. Old Ford truck. It's got a little contraption on the front to pull, looks like. Are these tires really still holding there? That's amazing. <laughs> That's just amazing to me. Yeah, it's an old Ford. Man. So what year, what year y'all thinking on this? Look at this. Sixty-eight Patterns of Independence is the title of that chapter. Let's see what it says in here. It says 212 of 68 in this book. Somebody's notebook. Nineteen sixty eight. Fifty yard dash. This is neat. It's like some school stuff. Yep, this is somebody's old school notebook, you guys. I wonder if they went on to be a doctor. The handwriting kind of looks like it. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to head back towards the van and see if there's any more buildings around here. Then we're going to make our, I think we got about seven and a half hours left for our trip today. Yeah, there's his hat his parents' house over there in the distance. Sorry about the seatbelt thing. Yeah, it's already leaning pretty bad. It, it won't be around much longer. Well, this is the house where uh, Phil's grandparents, I think Phil's grandparents built this house. And then his parents lived here and he was raised here. Yeah, this is uh, fenced and a lot of uh, cattle out here. It's a real cold, windy day today. Yeah, this isn't going to be here much longer. I, I believe they said this was built in 1916. I'll have to uh, verify it. But this is actually just outside of the town of Kappa. Had to go through a snow drift up to my hip, but I managed to do it. Cattle runs all around this house now. Had the old front porch, nice front porch, beadboard ceiling. <clears throat> and there's a look inside. 
Don't know how long this has been abandoned, but you can tell it's been quite a long time. There's an old record player here. Right by this window. Let's see what else there is. Oh wow. Now that's an old bed frame. I don't see the rails to it anywhere, but I'm not sure what what do y'all think? Ten uh nineteen tens? 20s maybe don't be shy let me know what you think on the on the years of this stuff I've always liked exploring and I've always been interested in in the past I've always been very sentimental as well but uh, I didn't really study a lot on the years of different things I'm I'm just now really getting into into that It's one of the bedrooms here. Not too much in there. <clears throat> These old doors are beautiful. Still very solid, surprisingly. It's another room. You can see the old pattern on the floor. <clears throat> All right. Handbook to Critical Approaches to Literature. Sounds pretty deep. <clears throat> See what this is <clears throat> up here. The Growing Years Life History of the United States. I found a lot of books like this exploring this site patriotic uh, type books you know they took such pride in our country and our history I really do miss the generation of my great-grandparents uh, he was born in 1914 and she was born in 1911 and uh, this new generation they really don't know what they've missed out on old boot all right well 1970 world book well I wish we could have seen it with the hotel and everything the general stores and all the buildings can you imagine 300 people used to live here I'm just kind of panning across town there's the church and that was Phil's house there Yep, and then there's a couple of more spread out, maybe a quarter mile or so down the road. The house that uh, his grandparents had built is a good half mile or so down the road that way. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I wish I'd had a little more time to dig through the stuff. Uh, there's a gold mine here of, of things to look at. But uh, in a few years, uh, you'll never know anything was ever here. So, if you like this video, do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it with your friends. It really helps to get my page going, to keep my views up. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.